Dallas Motorsports. We're going to walk you through the new NXT 22. Let me show you some features of the new dash. We now have gauges on the dash where we used to just have a screen in the past. Your gauges show you speedometer, tachometer, fuel level, and battery volts. We also have your switches for your blower, your forward bilge, you can override it, your aft bilge, you can override it, navigation lights, anchor light, underwater lights if you choose to go with those, and courtesy lights inside the boat. On the left, you have the Clips audio system, which is uh, exclusive to Mastercraft, and of course, it's Bluetooth capable. Uh, the new features now are in the new dash screens. I'm gonna walk you through those screens. This is your standard home screen. It shows you air temperature, water temperature, and water depth miles an hour and your engine RPMs and fuel. Those are the most important things you need. This here is where you can do some of your presets, your speed and your miles an hour within your zero off. We go a little further into this. Here's where your presets are, which are new for 2020. We have surf left, we have surf right, we have wakeboard, we have wakeboard beginner, and we actually have water ski. This boat skis tremendously. Oil pressure, engine temp, engine hours, voltmeter, again, are just quick press of the button. Here are your ballasts. This will tell you how much uh, water you have in your ballast, whether they're 100% full, 30% full. In the rear of the boat, you have tabs, trim tab plates. So right now, of course, we're at 0% on the left, 0% on the right, or center, and 0% on the right. This is your main menu. This gives you user settings where you can change uh, screen brightness and some of those items. Service information will help the text know what you've done. Engine diagnostics is really nice. It can save you a lot of trouble out on the water if you got into some. You can call us and we can walk you through some diagnostics right on the boat and keep you in the water and not pull you out most likely. Factory settings for resets, your ballast times, and then tap diagnostics. So everything is, in a nutshell, is right here on this screen. You also have your ballast. You can fill your ballast just by pushing the button full or empty for your, your port side, your starboard, and your center. And your tabs, you can manually adjust them. What makes Mastercraft different than the other manufacturers is they're infinitely adjustable. So whoever's behind your boat, whatever load you have in your boat, you can adjust those tabs to make the biggest, cleanest wake or the most comfortable wake for whoever you have behind the boat. You also have a tilt wheel. Many of the other manufacturers do not offer, or it's an option, a swivel seat. We've always had a swivel seat. And then we also have a flip up on that seat so you can take and get up above the windshield. Also new, we have a garbage container right behind the driver. So many people are looking for a place to throw those empty cans and refuse. Mastercraft also builds in a cooler that is made for that cooler so you're not banging the cooler in and out and it fits correctly. On this side we have lots of storage. Here, if you can see, it's really deep. You can put a ton of extra life jackets and toys and whatever else you want to put in there. You also notice the seat is hinged. That's new for 2020 also. Mastercraft builds all their boats with items that are for longevity. If you notice, there's a brace here on the seat. Other manufacturers do not take and put a brace on their seat. This will take and make that seat last a lot longer. Under the front cushion, again, this is all storage. If you go to another manufacturer, there's no way that you're going to get a water ski in there. You can see in there. You can get plenty of water skis, life jackets, blow-ups, all of that inside there. 
Also notice the seat. Mastercraft's the only manufacturer that I know of that has this type of seat where it pulls up as one. Again, made for the longevity of the boat. Also, for your glove compartment, little things that Mastercraft does. There's a hose in here. If you get any water in that glove box, it drains out on its own. They also have a mount for your ski pylon, which pops in the rear of the boat very easily. And of course, that's your fire extinguisher. And that's secondary to the Halon fire extinguishing system. That is right here. What Halon fire extinguishing does is if it gets 450 degrees in the engine compartment, it releases the hell on gases and puts the fire out. God forbid that happens. Everything else is very simple. There's a new cell phone holder for this. Basically almost any size cell phone you have. And here, here's your glove box. Lots of room. Important stuff on the side, less important here. USBs, even a light in there. So you can get and see your valuables even in the dark. Another thing that most manufacturers do is they have a slide in cabin door. And on this boat, it's an option, but you have a new door that actually closes and fits correctly. And it's recessed into the side of the center console. In the front of the boat, again, we have massive storage. Where other manufacturers have ballast underneath the front where you should have storage, we have storage. You can take and put your anchor in the very front. You have storage. We put the cover on this one over on the right side. And then again, there's more storage on the other side. One of the small things that you might notice, and doesn't seem like it's a big deal, take a look at where the clip speakers are mounted. They are not mounted in plastic, like most other manufacturers. They mount them to solid fiberglass. Again, making it so the boat will stand the test of time. All Mastercrafts come with GPS speed on other boats. They'll end up charging you eight, $900 for GPS cruise and speed. That's what this little box is here. That's your GPS antenna. Most other manufacturers have a nightmare for a bimini. We all want it to get cooled off in the summer. On Mastercrafts, they've got the easiest bimini in the industry to use. It's literally pull the cover off, pull the bimini out, push it up, push it up, and you're done. This is a bimini that you will use every time you go out on the boat. To bring it down, it's just squeeze the button, squeeze the button, Fold it back, put your cover on, and you're good to go. Rear seats are very interesting in uh, Mastercraft. This is new for 2020. We have a flip and fold seat on the NXT. So now all your riders can uh, look backwards, talk to your rider, have a lot more fun that way. Again, it's, it moves very simply. There's not a whole lot of work that goes into it. The rear of the boat, one thing we hadn't covered was, look at all the cup holders you have. You have lights over your cup holders. Again, speakers mounted in fiberglass. You have power port here. You have another USB over here. Very thoughtful execution of what they put in this boat. In the rear of the boat, for 2020, is a brand new six liter Ilmore motor. Ilmore motors are built by Penske Racing, so of course you're gonna get the highest quality in a motor that's out there. Ballast bags in the rear. It's on both sides. And we talked about the Halon fire extinguishing system. That is what this red bottle is back here. 
Everything's neat and easy to get to. And again, we're very well thought out for you, the owner, and for the technicians that happen to be working on the boat. Here is where your ski pylon goes. And then you have your wakeboard racks. What's nice about our wakeboard racks is, again, they're very solid. They're heavy duty aluminum. You can put them in the middle if you want it there. So if you're trailering, you don't want to get those bugs all over the front of your wakeboard racks. You move it in here to load your racks. And the lever, swing it back out if that's what you like. The tower drops very easy because we have these gas assist shocks. And then to drop your tower, pull your board racks in. Tower comes down just that easy. There's really nothing to it. Going back up, it's just the reverse of what uh, we just did. Put your pins in and you're good to go. What makes a Mastercraft wake? On a Mastercraft, you have three different plates. The center plate takes and helps lengthen the wave. It also takes and helps bring the bow down on the boat to make it lower in the front so you're not having to stretch over the windshield to take a look to see where you're going. It helps also for water skiing. It'll take and lift the rear of the boat and creates a different type of wake, very much smaller than what it normally would be. Your plates on the sides, they're patented. And if you notice, they have a lip on them here. Uh, what that does is that helps pressurize the water, makes it go down a little bit and come up. That's where Mastercraft is much different than the other manufacturers in the sense our waves are firmer and longer than what the competition has. If you want to take and surf left, uh, you're going to take and put your right path down. What that's going to do is that's going to take your tabs, it's dropping it down like this, and it's going to tip the boat to the left. That's also not creating drag, so you're going to run 1,000 to 1,200 RPMs less than the competition, and you get a much cleaner, smoother wake this way. Uh, surfing on the uh, right side, yes. again. Dropping the tab and moving the boat to the left. The other thing that you might find nice also is if you have a tight garage space, your plates are on quick disconnects. So those plates will drop down in your garage and your swim platform is also on a quick disconnect. So that will drop down also. So that'll gain you a couple more feet of storage space. Mastercraft trailers are also way above and beyond the competition. Uh, we use our own trailers, we make our own trailers. Little things that you don't notice on other trailers until you have to go use the boat. They take and put a step here on the rear so it's easy entry and exit for you. You have LED backup lights and LED brake lights, LED marker lights, uh, guidons from the factory. Front of the boat or trailer, you have a winch that is rated for much more than what this boat can handle. But Mastercraft wants to, again to make sure the longevity of your trailer is just as good as your boat. Also, standard is a swivel tongue, which again you have to pay more for on other boats. And it also has a step on the very front of the boat trailer. So all you do is step up here, step up here, and you can jump into the boat there. 
I hope you've enjoyed our walkthrough of the new Mastercraft NXT series boats. If you have any more questions, come see us at the Crystal or Minnetonka location, or you can go to MidwestWaterSports.com to get more information.